Right, so the last part of this is we need to send information from the Raspberry Pi to the motor controller and the motor is telling the motors to turn on and off. So to do that, um, you use these little final four pins here. Okay, I'll just draw them. They're one, two, three, four, but I'll just put little dots for them to represent these. You can see that they kind of go in there. I just knocked it out of the way, but you didn't see that. Okay, um, so these four pins. All you do is uh, you take some of these GPIO switches and you hook them up to it. So the bottom two, let's go for, and by the way, you can hook it up to any switches you like. Um, I've labeled, and actually put on two little green circles here, um, two that are beside each other. So this happens to be uh, switch 11 and 13 on this side. And then over here, these two, just because they're beside each other, um, that is switch 16 and 18. Okay, grand. So uh, I just hooked them up. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to get 18 and 16 and hook them up to that one. And then 13 and 11. Okay, and that is it completely wired up. That is the final part. That's part four. All done. We've got two cables here. I've, got to, I've gone with grey and grey and blue and green. So I'll do the grey and grey first. They're going to control uh, one set of motors. So what we'll do is we'll just put these. We were told about the pins earlier, but there's pins uh, 11 and 13, numbered 11 and 13. Or if you count up, it's pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I'm going to count up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So those two pins there are where I want to place this guy. Okay. Now, so, did he get them on 6 or 7, or did he miss exactly. them? Exactly. So let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, ha, ha, 6 and 7. It's on. Good nice. go. Now that I know where they are, 8 and 9 are these on this side are what I'm going for. So I'm going to cool. do the same idea. And if you get these on backwards, um, or if you're wondering, does it matter? No, it doesn't. Yeah. It just means the wheels will go backwards. And we can just change that in the code. Yeah. Um, and just have a look there. So there's everything together. They're on 8 and 9. They're on 6 and 7. And you've got ones on 2 and 6 here. That's all the stuff that we're going to be plugging into the Raspberry Pi for this particular thing. So that's you done. So have a good check. Make sure that's right, or you're going to spend a lot of time being confused. And that should be it.